Hi folks, um, so yesterday I said that I was going to sew up the uh, Hawaiian print dress using the Lilu pattern but I've made an alteration to the um, to the pattern so that I could have tie shoulder and I finished it last night, well I actually finished it this morning. Oh god I hope I just didn't flush my knickers, that's a bit horrendous. Um, start off with the fabric, the fabric is a Hawaiian print cotton from the Craft Cotton Company. It's fantastic. I washed it at about probably about 40 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. No bleeding, no running. It didn't shrink. It irons like a dream. It sews like a dream. It barely frays. Honestly, I could I could wax lyrically. Ly 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 ly. I like it. It's nice. I can't say wax lyrically. Wax lyrically about this fabric it's just I mean it's beautiful for a start and then the fact that I have no like problem sewing with it is just fantastic um yeah the only thing I'd say is they only do this colorway oh my god no we need something in pink and something in purple and like like a darker blue we need all of the Hawaiian colors that we can get going so I actually might email them tomorrow and be like Please do it in more colours, because I really like it. Um, yeah, it is beautiful. I can't wait. I'm going to take it to Vegas. I've got big plans on getting like a picture of me and Elvis together, and me wearing this dress. Um, I don't know why Elvis. I don't, don't particularly remember Elvis being particularly like Hawaiian-y. He's probably be aiming more for like the Beach Boys. But yeah. That's, that, that's what I want in my head is me in this dress come downstairs in it today the fella was like I saw right in church and I was like oh yes there is which is a huge compliment from him so thumbs up there and um, the bodice was a hell of a lot easier to put together than I thought um, I'm mainly pleased with how these turned out I love the idea I love how I did it the only thing that I'm slightly annoyed about is the fact that I didn't wear a bit too long, which I'll cover when I show you my pattern pieces. So, here is how I altered my pattern pieces. This is my actual Lulu bodice. Um, so I just traced off another copy of this. And then... <laughs> That's the wrong one. And then... Basically... Just extended it up and kind of curved it in so there'd be less bulk where the tie would be and that was it I extended it by about four four and a half inches maybe even five but I think that's too many to be honest I think I got a bit confused in my head about I was trying to make sure that it wouldn't be too small so that I couldn't tie it trying to factor in the seam allowances and I, I think I went a bit too far so I am gonna alter this to cut it down to probably being like three inches, three and a half maximum extended just because it's easier. But I tried it and you can only really learn from your mistakes. You can't really know beforehand. I mean, I, I could have made a muslin, but I didn't. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, it's so simple. And then with regards to sewing it, you can mainly follow the instructions. So you follow the instructions for the stay stitching, and then it asks you to join the pieces at the shoulders. Skip that part on like the original Lilo instructions. Um, and then what you do is you just treat like your front bodice and your lining as like one. And then to put them together at the neckline, you just stitch all the way around. And then it'll go like across and all the way up here around that armhole. And then you just turn it through. And then you do the same with your back piece and your back piece lining. And you treat each back piece. So you end up with like three pieces. And then you sew them all up the side seam. And it works beautifully because you don't really need... They're not joined at the shoulders, they're just tied. So it's, it's quite nice for being able to tie them wherever you want. Mine just ended up a bit big. They're like little bunny ears on my shoulders. 
feel like I should mourn you. But I do think it's cute, and I do think it turned out nice. Although I really don't have, ever have any faults with the Lily pattern, no matter how many times I alter. So the pattern is from the bodice. Sorry, the bodice is the Lilu bodice from Tilly and the Buttons book. Love at first stitch. I think it's a size three, but don't hold me to that. And the skirt. is from the second Great British Sewing Boo book. Um, yeah, the second one, because I don't own the first one. So I always think it's like the first one, because it was the first one that I got. But it's not, it's actually the second one. So it's the box pleat skirt that they all made. Um, it's without the waistband. And I have probably put a 12 in that. But it was slightly too long compared to the... Lulu bodice so I used a two centimeter seam allowance instead of a one and a half centimeter seam allowance so that's just to bear in mind it's always worth basting it together if you're using a skirt that's not from your pattern and then looking to alter it especially when you've got box pleats because nobody wants to have to do the maths of like altering it I know it's probably not that difficult but in my head I'm just like and then you have to fold it and it's in on itself and I can never quite work out how much fabric I need so I just always go for this pattern. It's quite nice to do a box pleat skirt, box pleat skirt as opposed to a gathered skirt or a circle skirt. I think it looks really cute. It's nice and cool. It's got probably about a one and a half centimetre hem on it which is quite deep really. And I did take about three inches off the skirt pattern when I first did it. Because I've got little tiny legs. Um, which brings me to my massive faux pas today. I um, made a bit of a wally on myself this morning. Walking upstairs with two brews for me and for me and Fella. And I um, actually tripped on the bottom of my own pyjama bottom. My big toe got stuck in the bottom of my pyjama leg on my other pyjama. I'm walking upstairs, got these two cups of tea, strews them all over myself, I have tea all in my hair, it was all down my arm, I ended up with half a brew left, uh, I was stood on the stairs, with like tea all over the stairs, it was all over my pyjamas, and I was like, Mother! And Ricky like, come out of the bedroom and he was like, what's up with you? And I was like, I've just spilt tea all over my hair! And he was like, why did you do that? I was like, I tripped over my pyjama bottoms. And he was like, why? I was like, I don't know, because I thought it would be entertaining. I'm like, no, I tripped over my pyjama bottoms because I've got tiny little stumpy legs. I have to alter everything because I've got tiny little stumpy legs. Like a hobbit, but worse. Um, so yeah, that was my big faux pas today. And I had to jump in the shower to get all of the sticky tea out of my hair and off my arm. No, it's not impressed. I've been scrubbing the stairs all day to try and get the tea stains out. Um, but then I did get cheered up about an hour later and went, This array! So, this is for the Simplicity New Look Sewing Challenge. I think that's what it's called. Um, basically they are sending out these patterns for free and then you make it up and then you link it to them and it's like a big competition I think there's five categories and yeah they're gonna pick some winners I'm not expecting to win but I thought it'd be really good fun to I'm, I've told myself this year I'm gonna take part in more things so this is from the vintage category which is one of the categories so this, this is the vintage one it's a halter neck top that you can do with like a collar or without a collar and at the back you can either close it no, no, close it with buttons or with a tie which I thought was quite cute um, the only thing I'm slightly worried about is where it where it falls on the model I'm not quite sure how high waisted her trousers are because um, if it's like belly button that's a bit risky 
Um, but yeah, I think it's a really cute pattern and they've said that you can kind of go crazy with it. So you can sort of do whatever you want as long as you use this as your base, um, which is what I'll be doing. I'll be trying to make it a bit more mum acceptable. Not a mum acceptable because I'm not an acceptable bubble. But you know what I mean, something that I feel a bit more comfortable in. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute and quite a few people were like, I don't like it. Nobody will wear it. I was like, I think this is a bit more, a bit more practical than like a ball gown or something, isn't it? Um, so that's the vintage category. There is the newcomer category, which is like an A-line skirt with buttons. But you've got to have been sewing for less than a year to go in that category. And then there is children's. Don't like children. That was a no-go. That's like a little, I think it was a dress. Like a little trousers and waistcoat type thing. Don't like children. Not happening. And then... It's like a dress, but I don't know what that's for. I don't know what that's for, but there's a dress and it's like princess themed and I think there's piping involved. And it's not really the sort of thing I'd wear, so I didn't go for that one. And then there's the blogger category, um, which isn't the one I'm going for, I'm going for the vintage category. As I said, if you're going for the blogger category, it is quite intensive. I think there's, there's a couple of judges, there's... I think it's Rachel from House of Pinero, 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 I don't know. I always thought it was Pinero. Like, go in, Pinero. Here comes Mr. Pinero or Mrs. Pinero. But it isn't. I think it's her actual surname. And then there's May Martin, and there is the lovely Claire Louise Hardy. And there's somebody else that I can't remember. But yeah, it should be good fun. And I am looking forward to cracking on and seeing what happens. So yeah, that's it really. Um, That's not what I'm going to be saying tonight because I've got to find myself some suitable fabric. Tonight I am going to be working on the old Mario blanket, I think. Seeing how much of it I can get done. I'm just checking the clock because I would like to be in bed by about 10 o'clock tonight. But if I get in a groove, we both know it's going to be a 3am. So yeah, but thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying it, please do subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it really. Just my dress. Bye-bye. <laughs>